If you're a Google Apps for business, education, and government user, you're entitled to a neat feature that's called appointment slots. Appointment slots is the ability to let other people book an appointment directly on your Google Calendar from a time frame that you specify. This is really useful for booking a 30-minute or one-hour or 50-minute slot of time if you're a professor that has office hours or if you're a business that creates appointment-based meetings such as a hair salon or a computer tutor. Now, I can tell that I'm in a business account and not the free Google account, first of all, because my email address ends in my domain, and secondly, because in the top left-hand side, I see my company logo. I don't see the Google logo. Also, if you're trying to book appointment slots and you find that the option just isn't there, then you're probably using the free personal Google Calendar account and not a Google Apps for business education or government. But let's get started and I'll show you how to do it. Click on your calendar and drag the time range that you want to book the appointment slots for. Now, if you are a hair salon, you might want to click and drag all day according to your opening and closing times. In this case, I'm going to pretend that I'm a professor who has office hours, say, once or twice a week for a few hours. So I'll click and drag my time range, let go with the mouse, and at the top of the screen now, instead of just looking at the word event, which is what the free Google Calendar sites have, we now have this other option that says appointment slots. If I click on that, I can type in what they are, such as an appointment for a haircut or office hours. I can choose which calendar I want them to be on. And now I can choose the type. I can either offer it as a single three hour appointment slot that one person can come up and book, or I can offer it as slots that are 30 minutes each. I can also come in to edit details if I wanted to and fill out more or less. For example, I can change the time block if I wanted to. I can also add where it is, and I can also add a short description. Now, I don't need to add guests, but if I have a classroom full of people, I could put in the email addresses for all my students, click add, and they'll be notified about my office hours. It's not mandatory though, because you can simply tell everybody what the link is. And I'm gonna show you that in a second. For now, I'm gonna click save. We'll be brought back to my calendar, and this is what it looks like in my calendar. I can see the range. I can see the grid. So the icon's telling me that it's an appointment slot. And it also says that they're booking in 30 minute slots. Now I'm gonna get into that appointment again by clicking on it and I'm brought to this link. Now I can highlight this link and send it to anybody to show them how they can book appointments. And if they click on the link, this is what they'll see. They'll see my calendar and it'll say, click on an open appointment slot to sign up. If no slots are available, try a different range. So I can click on an appointment, book it, click save, and my appointment's been saved. Now people can come in and see that that appointment has been booked because they can't click on that particular time slot. I'm gonna go back to my calendar by closing out of this because there's one more thing I wanna show you about time slots. The neat thing is you can click repeat and make this a weekly appointment. So every week, anybody can come in and book a time slot. I'm gonna click save and get back to my calendar. I can see that somebody's booked that 4 p.m. slot, so they're gonna fill up. So that's how you can use appointment slots with your Google Apps for Business, Education, and Government account.